Community organization FIERS hosted a queer and trans youth participatory budget neighborhood assembly inside St. John's Lutheran Church. The assembly, held last October 23rd, included LGBTQ youth from West Village as well as, as representatives from the office of this free council member Corey Johnson. FIERS decided to join uh, city council member Corey Johnson to host uh, this LGBTQ youth participatory budget neighborhood assembly. Uh, because we believe that it's actually really important for young people to be a part of the process. Um, also, uh, FIERCE is launching a new campaign today called I Have a Right because To, um, and that campaign is a, it's a multimedia needs assessment where we're using people, selfies and interviews to identify the what the needs are of our community. And who put well, some issues that impact the LGBTQ youth of color community are like homelessness, and policing and um, just a general feeling of like unease and not feeling safe. And I think through participatory budgeting and through like the help of like Corey Johnson's office and the other council members, we can work to build more space for homeless youth, especially in more particular homeless youth of color and who identify as LGBTQ and to also um, work on the policing and the policies that are set in place that impact and directly target LGBTQ youth of color. Some changes I'd like to see in our community is that the West Village and District 3 as a whole becomes more of a safe place and more of a welcoming space for LGBTQ youth of color and that the decisions that are made for this community include LGBTQ youth of color which have who have a lot of history in this area and whose voices are often not heard or even thought of when changes are made to this community and it affects us just as much as it affects the residents and the businesses here. Um, the idea of security has been different than times before. I just want to know what your anxiety is or trouble. A lot of times like youth, especially queer youth of color, um, like we aren't like we aren't encouraged to like be a part of these assemblies or spaces where like discretionary funds are discussed and like we're often excluded because we aren't technically like uh, or at least many of us like aren't technically um residents of district three but like this space is still like um historically like means so much to us like for a lot of us um it's like a home and like a literal home um, where like we actually like li essentially live and like hang out here. Increased, um, you know, benches and parks, but then the, like the design component. So we just got out of a brainstorming session with a lot of great ideas about um, how our public spaces are n becoming less and less available um, from our city benches to making our public parks less accessible. And these are all things that, um, you know, with some capital money, can help. Um, one thing that came up is like creating um, a mural wall or like also a graffiti wall so like um, so like artists can actually like come and like create and at the same time like um, acknowledge like who's occupied the space especially um, like the pier for a long long time. Um, we've also thought about having some sort of like um, programming um, on the pier or like around the pier um, you know, around the same ideas. Um, and we've also discussed like some things that like already exist um, in this area, like really like intimidating like lights and like areas and like um, certain little like constructions of the neighborhood that actually make it easier for us to be policed and maybe like discuss like organizing around that or like getting rid of those things. So Fierce believes that every young person is a leader and has um, and is an expert in their own lives and their own experiences. S things like this help us to uh, actually hear that, to hear the experiences, to uplift those experiences. Um, we also work with our membership uh, to run these spaces. Um, and so our members created the agenda, are facilitating um, the meeting, created the flyer, and supported the outreach for this event. Um, and so that for fears, that's how we, we build the leadership of our members is by putting them in positions to create spaces, hold that space, um, and run it.